This is an exhibition to mark the 500th anniversary of Leonardo da Vinci's death and it's the largest exhibition of his work for more than 65 years. 200 drawings by Leonardo that show us the full range of his activity, not just as a painter, of course that, but also as a sculptor, an architect, an engineer and a scientist in so many fields. Drawing really gives us an insight into what Leonardo was doing throughout his long, fertile, productive career and it gives us uh, a proper sense of Leonardo, the man, the artist, the scientist, in a way that no other medium can. Well, drawing was a way of Leonardo to prepare his artistic projects, of course, but it was also his way of thinking on paper. He used drawing to exercise his mind, to capture the world around him, to test his understanding, and to make scientific notes towards a whole range of different treatises. So drawing was really central to Leonardo's work. It's uh, a medium that he used to mirror his mind, in a way, and to exercise his imagination in so many different ways. Had these drawings been lost, we would have so less, so much less understanding of what Leonardo actually achieved during his life. And with drawings, we really get a sense of looking over his shoulder and seeing Leonardo at work more than 500 years ago. Well, this drawing has never been exhibited before. It's a sheet from Leonardo's workshop when he was active in France towards the very end of his life. He made a drawing of a horse's leg on it and then it seems an assistant picked up the sheet and made a couple of quick sketches. One of a young man, another of an old man with a long beard, little spirals at the end of the moustache, a rather mournful expression. And we know by comparison with Leonardo's only authentic surviving portrait that this must be a portrait of Leonardo or a depiction of him in a casual moment and it captures Leonardo not when he's posing for a formal portrait but in an off-guard moment looking a little bit melancholy perhaps. We never get to a point where everybody said everything there is to say. But more than that, I think what is um, exciting to me is that there are always people who haven't seen the things uh, up until now. People who uh, perhaps didn't know these drawings existed or uh, were uh, brought in by um, knowledge of the paintings perhaps. So um, there are, uh, are lots of stories which are completely fresh to people.
we know his notes and manuscripts better now than we've ever done. We understand the context of his day, the contacts that he had with other thinkers and intellectuals and so on. And so I think we understand Leonardo's sort of intellectual um, ferment better now than, than ever before. We don't see him as a unique and isolated figure. He's not a, a modern man parachuted into the Renaissance. He's very much a creature of his time. But that makes our understanding of what he achieved even greater.